All right, we're here in Milan, Ohio at the Weed and Feed, uh, home of Burnett Wrestling and exclusively the, the Ohio Dogs. I am with owner and operator, Artie Wolf, and Jeff Stever. Jeff Stever. Yeah, get more Jeff Stever. <laughs> All right, they're going to walk us through a tour. Uh, the facility just opened. Uh, Artie, you can start. Tell us about the, uh, give us some background on it. All right, the background is that, and Jeff can correct me, uh, it started, he's been Burnett trained for a long time, Ron Burnett and uh, his boys. And he's taking a lot of people from the area up there. And so they started in your garage, yep. right? The Ohio Dogs. And I uh, grew from there to Mark Tassari's barn. And then uh, after a year layoff, they needed a place to wrestle. So we uh, started in the basement. They convinced uh, Scott Burnett and Eric Burnett to come out. And Jeff train, uh, coached as well. And from there it grew into, uh, it's starting to really blow up. So here we are from a lot of uh, stewardship from Jeff, Mark Tassari, and a whole group of other people. A lot of parents got involved and helped uh, create it. Okay, so let's uh, give us a tour now. You can right. start us off. We're going to enter through the non-traditional entrance, I guess we would call it. Non-traditional. Yeah, here we come up in the non-traditional uh, all-natural habitat garden. <laughs> Coming into what we're creating to be the showers, the locker room. Uh, we've got a lot of parents come in and help us, so we've redone this. And here's here. Unfortunately, there's no light, but there's going to be uh, six showers in there, and uh, oh, that's all right. And uh, our bathroom facility, oh, it's unplugged. Okay. So here we come past the hallway. Uh, and we're coming into what will be the main locker room once we get the block wall up here. Uh, there'll be a lot of area to change and whatnot. And then we have a parents' room or observation deck upstairs. Can I walk up there and look Absolutely. at it? Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Mike, go ahead. All right. Big small goal in here. Oh, man. Jeff, you and I are struggling getting yeah. through here, huh? I'll be bumping over so I can get through here. <laughs> This part's nice, it's just like moms bring their little boys, little girls with them. We don't really want them running around the mat getting in you know, so much of the weight and stuff. They come up here, uh, play, look out the window, see what's going on down below, see what the juniors doing, what they want to do. And the kids can stay off the mat and kind of not be distracting you know, what's going on in practice. So. Okay, uh, Artie, what are the dimensions here? Uh, the dimensions of the room are roughly 50 by 77. 50, so you're getting about two and a half mats. Two yeah, and a half mats. We're about two and a half mats. We've got a, a uh, quilt of mats out there, Ohio State practice mat, Austin Town Fitch mat, uh, a couple Steber mats out there, and we were able to pick up uh, a couple mats from uh, Jeff Jordan. Yeah, Coach Jordan. Yeah. Coach, Coach Jordan helped us out. Coach a Jordan, lot. always a supporter of anything oh, yeah, in Ohio, man. Yeah, he's he's helped a lot of these kids that are up here too in other camps and stuff. He's He's always been involved, that's for sure. Okay. All right, now we're going to go just look at the warehouse and then walk through the room. Then actually there's another wrestling room in the basement, which is about a mat and a half. Right? Yeah, dungeon, yes. That's for the younger, younger kids, right? Yes. Right. So already, originally what was this? Uh, originally it was a seed uh, processing center to uh, bag seed, soybean, corn uh, seed for farming to sell to the farmers to grow their crops. Okay. Uh, after some hard times, it was turned into a strict warehouse. Okay. So we sold the seed equipment about five years ago. Okay. Some of your toys, your boat, car. Yeah, I wish that was my boat, but it's not. It's nah. storage. Everybody's stuff's in here for storage. Okay. All right, and apparently you specialize in storing boxes. Yeah, my cardboard. It's <laughs> our specialty. All right, so we'll enter through this door. And what, okay, did you put this block wall up? Yes. And, yes, that was very, uh, that was a lot of expense this building, was this block wall. Here. Okay, so you put two walls up, you already had you had two existing, that? Right. Exactly. Okay, so you created this block wall right here? Yep. Yes. Right there, that one, and then that back one right there? Yes. Okay. All right, but that one was up. 
correct. And then obviously this is the... Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, walk us through. Let's look, go look at the basement. All right. Check the uh, basement out. You can see one of the you know, great coats right there. Oh, he's, he's, he's terrorizing the uh, future stars, Burnett boys. Look at him. There's another one. Get that tooth out. Get that tooth out. Here's an even smaller Burnett right here. What's that? Ma'am? What's that? I gotta go with my I gotta go with my right? Yeah. Okay, so this is the lobby area. This is the tr where you would originally enter. Yeah. Okay. The kids are taking a break from a session. This is the dungeon. Yep. Is this where you guys are going to lock me this summer? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't blame you. All right. All right, so we've got another. When we moved from our garage, we came down here. And uh, got 20 kids in here. We I mean, got some big guys in here too. It's kind of tough with the poles, but makes them stay in their area to wrestle. So um, this this was just a starting point. We just outgrew this, and already just finally said he he wanted to do something to make a, uh, the room he did up there. So we're very fortunate to have somebody like him to have a building like this and turn it in for wrestling for people in this area. We can't thank him enough. That's for sure. He's he knows he's he's helped a lot of kids out, but this is this is a great thing for. Uh, North Central Ohio, that's for sure. Okay. Well, yeah, I couldn't have done it without Jeff. The Burnett's, a lot of other supportive people. Tassari, Phillips, you know. Those yeah, Phillips? Yeah. Chris Phillips. Throwing Phillips even Chris there, huh? Phillips. Uh, there's, there's a lot of people. Let's go out. I mean, there's just a laundry list of people. Bob Burns, Mike Cole, Tim Michael. Let's just take us out then where we came yeah. in, Kenny. All right. Artie, can I show them where uh, your house is in proximity to the building? Sure. Okay, so here's the uh, natural habitat garden again. We're back to where we started. Okay, and Artie lives. Right over here. In the word of my dad and brothers, yonder. And there's Artie's house. So, it's all right here. So, guys, thank you for the tour of the weed and feed. No and we're looking forward to uh, seeing a whole bunch of you guys this summer and next year, all right? That's good. All right, thanks. Thanks.